Have you ever wondered if a moon can have its own moon? Well, hold on to your space helmets because we're about to explore this fascinating concept. It's no secret that our universe is teeming with celestial bodies, from planets and asteroids to moons. But what about moons of moons, also known as submoons or moon moons? Such formations are a rarity, a cosmic enigma, if you will. Complex astrophysical rules involving tidal forces, atmospheres, and gravitational interactions make their existence a challenge. So how can a moon have its own moon? Let's delve into the physics behind this intriguing possibility. To understand why moons having moons is a rarity, we need to consider some astrophysical factors. First up, let's talk about tidal forces. These are the gravitational interactions between two celestial bodies that can stretch them into an oval shape. Now, imagine a moon orbiting another moon. The tidal forces from the planet and the sun would be constantly pulling on the smaller moon, causing it to shift its orbit or even be torn apart. Next, consider the role of atmospheres. If a moon were to have its own moon, it would need a strong enough atmosphere to maintain it. However, most moons in our solar system lack substantial atmospheres. This is because they are usually too small to hold onto gases, or they are too close to their planet, which strips away their atmosphere. So, without a substantial atmosphere, a moon's moon could easily be lost to space. Then there are gravitational interactions. You see, in a moon with moon system, the gravitational pull of the nearby planet would be much stronger than the pull of the moon on its own moon. This means that the smaller moon might be more attracted to the planet than its parent moon, leading to an unstable system. Finally, let's discuss how these forces affect the stability of such systems. The stability of a moon's moon would be threatened by these forces. The constant tug of war between the gravitational poles would likely cause the moon's moon to veer off its orbit, making it more of a temporary guest than a permanent resident. These factors make the stability of a moon with moon system difficult to achieve. But are there exceptions? Let's find out. Although rare, there are potential candidates in our solar system that might host their own moons. Let's turn our attention to Triton and Iapetus, two celestial bodies that have been thrust into the spotlight as possible hosts of their own moons. Triton, the largest moon of Neptune, is one such candidate. This icy satellite, with its retrograde orbit and active geysers, presents an intriguing case. Its unusual orbit, opposite to Neptune's rotation, suggests that Triton was not originally a part of the Neptune system. Instead, it likely originated from the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune's orbit. While no moon has been spotted orbiting Triton as of yet, the possibility still exists. On the other side of our solar system, we have Iapetus, the third largest moon of Saturn. Iapetus is famous for its two-tone coloration. One half of Iapetus is as bright as snow, while the other is as dark as coal. This striking difference is due to the moon's slow rotation and the accumulation of dark reddish dust on one side. Iapetus's equatorial ridge, a mountain range that runs along the moon's equator, could also potentially host a moon. However, just like Triton, no moon has been confirmed orbiting Iapetus. While these moons provide fascinating possibilities, it's important to remember that the existence of moons orbiting moons in our solar system remains unconfirmed. The gravitational complexities and tidal forces within our system make it difficult for moons to maintain their own moons. However, the cosmos is vast, and our solar system is but a tiny blip in the grand scheme of things. While our solar system might have potential candidates, the possibility of finding a moon with a moon may be higher elsewhere. Let's venture beyond our solar system. Beyond the confines of our solar system, in the vastness of the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud, the chances of finding a moon with a moon increase. These regions, located at the outskirts of our solar system, are teeming with a multitude of celestial objects, including a variety of icy bodies, dwarf planets, and possibly even undiscovered moons. The Kuiper Belt, a massive ring of space debris, is home to Pluto and other dwarf planets. It's an area ripe for exploration and discovery. Similarly, the Oort Cloud, a hypothetical sphere of icy bodies surrounding our solar system, could also hold potential candidates for moons with moons. In these regions, fewer gravitational perturbations make it more likely that a moon could maintain a smaller moon in stable orbit. Gravitational perturbations are disruptions caused by the gravitational forces of nearby bodies. In the busier parts of our solar system, these forces can easily destabilize a moon's orbit, especially if that moon is trying to hold on to its own moon. But out in the distant Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud, things are different. The celestial bodies are much more spread out making gravitational perturbations less of a concern. This could potentially allow a moon to have its own moon stable and undisturbed. However, it's important to remember that this is all theoretical. 
We have yet to discover a moon with its own moon, even in these more remote regions of our solar system. And even if such a system does exist, finding it among the vast number of celestial bodies would be like finding a needle in a haystack. So while the concept of a moon having its own moon is fascinating, it remains largely theoretical, but who knows what future explorations may reveal. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the possibility of discovering a moon with its own moon remains an exciting frontier in astronomy. The notion is tantalizing, isn't it? The uncovering of such a celestial body could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Imagine the scientific advancements that could stem from this discovery. It could provide us with valuable insights into the formation and evolution of celestial bodies, shedding light on the complex astrophysical rules that govern our universe. Understanding how a moon could possess its own moon might inform us about the conditions necessary for such a system to exist. This could also challenge our current theories and prompt us to revise our textbooks. Furthermore, the discovery of a moon with its own moon could have profound implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. If moons can have moons, who's to say that these sub-moons couldn't harbor life? The potential habitats for life in the universe may be more diverse than we've ever imagined. And what about the potential for space exploration? A moon with a moon could serve as a stepping stone for further exploration of the cosmos, opening up new frontiers for human space travel. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. While the prospect is thrilling, it's also humbling. It serves as a reminder of how much there is still to discover. As we journey through the cosmos, the universe continues to surprise us with its complexity and beauty. So, can a moon have its own moon? The answer is yes, in theory. But in practice, it's a bit more complicated. As we've navigated through the cosmic complexities, we've uncovered that moons having their own moons is a rare phenomenon, largely due to intricate astrophysical rules. Tidal forces, atmospheres, and gravitational interactions all play a part in making this a challenging feat. Yet, hope lingers in the form of potential candidates within our own solar system, like Triton and Iapetus, though no confirmation has been made yet. We've also dared to glance beyond our solar system, to the distant realms of the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud. These areas with fewer gravitational perturbations might just hold the key to discovering a moon with its own moon. So, the possibility exists, albeit shrouded in layers of cosmic complexities waiting to be unraveled. The final frontier of space continues to beckon us with its mysteries, and the question of moons having moons is just one of many waiting to be answered. Remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering about the mysteries of our universe.